A three year old girl is critically hurt tonight after flames tore through her Anne Arundel County home. The fire started as the family slept inside. WJZ is live. Amy Yinti is in Brooklyn Park with the latest. Amy. And Demarcus, that three year old girl suffered the most serious injuries of everyone inside that home when the fire broke out. Officials say if it were not for those smoke detectors working at the time, things could have turned out much worse. Boarded windows, charred siding, and a roof completely melted off. It's the aftermath of a fast moving fire that ripped through this Brooklyn Park home early this morning. Oh, it's such a tragic way to start Father's Day. It's very, very sad. Fire officials say a three year old girl had to be rushed to Johns Hopkins Trauma Center with serious, possibly life threatening injuries. This after flames broke out just after 4 a.m. Two adults in their 20s and two other girls, a two year old and a seven month old baby, were treated for smoke inhalation. Upon arrival, we found eight residents who had evacuated due to working smoke detectors. Fire was found in the rear as well as the roof of the house. It took approximately 50 minutes and 50 firefighters. Neighbors on Ballpark Drive were rattled from their sleep by the sound of sirens and the smell of smoke. And you get a sense of just how quickly this family had to be evacuated by simply looking at the driveway. The family's two cars are still parked here, and some of their belongings were just left behind. I saw the flames shooting from the roof, and I was like, oh my God, their house is on fire. People in the community describe the young family as nice people who always had friends over. Now that family is spending Father's Day at the hospital as one of its youngest members fights for her life. It makes you hug your kids a little tighter and makes, makes you appreciate your family. And Marcus, the home's property damage is estimated at $300,000. One firefighter sustained minor injuries, but he will be okay. Live in Brooklyn Park, Amy NC, WJZ, Eyewitness News. Back to you, Marcus. Well, wishing a speedy recovery to the entire family. Thank you, Amy. And the cause of that fire is under investigation. Our friends have set up a GoFundMe page to help the family. Find the link on our website, cbsbaltimore.com.